So in this video, I'm going to explain how I went from being a good 3x3 one-handed solver to being a great one, and how you can pull off the same transformation for yourself. So from pretty early on in my cubing career, I knew that one-handed was going to be my specialty. My first ever podium was in one-handed all the way back in 2016, my first ever competition win was in 3x3 one-handed, and my first ever top 100 world ranking was a 1336 one-handed average in 2018, and that led me to my first ever national final. You get the point. By the end of 2018, I figured that I was destined for greatness in one-handed, so I started setting some big goals for myself. In order to accomplish those, I wanted to get faster as quickly as possible, and in order to do that, I ordered a coaching program from Jaden McNeil. I figured that his advice would help me improve faster than I could improve on my own. So I sent him my solves, and a few weeks later, he sent me his feedback, and I immediately got to work. Okay, let's take a step back for a second. Why am I telling you about all of this? The reason I'm telling you is that Jay is opening up enrollment to his speed cubing solution course, which gives you access to all of the help I got and much, much more. With speed cubing solution, you get permanent access to Jay's full in-depth course on getting faster with CFOP. This course takes everything you need to know about 3x3 solving and breaks it down into bite-sized pieces, and everything is explained very well. With the course, you also get one year of access to a Slack channel where you can talk to his other students, and one year of unlimited email coaching from Jay. That's right, you can get the coaching plan that I got from Jay as much as you want for an entire year. You also get unlimited email access to Jay if you have any questions, and you get access to his live streams where he does live Q&As. With everything that you get with this deal, you're bound to make incredible progress. If you want to sign up, Information on how to is in the link in the top of the description. Registration closes on May 3rd, so you're going to have to hurry. That brings us back to my part of the story. For a while after I got that coaching plan, I did make incredible progress. In Jay's email, he laid out three main things that he wanted me to work on. First of all, he wanted me to change my turning so I wouldn't use the table as much. Second, he wanted me to learn more ZBLL algorithms. And last, he wanted me to learn how to do cross plus one in inspection for one-handed. I took the turning part super seriously, and I immediately had success with it. On January 26, 2019, nine days after I got the email back, I got an official one-handed average that was only a third of a second slower than my official PB average at the time, hardly using the table at all compared to before. In the following months, I continued to get 13 second averages very regularly, peaking at a 12.33 PB average in April of 2019. The feeling of blowing straight past the sub-13 barrier was euphoric, and it made me truly feel like all of my hard work was paying off. Another month later, I won one-handed at the Great Lakes Championship with a 12.84 average. Within the span of three months, I had gotten a sub-12.5 official average, gotten a top 60 world ranking, and won two different regional championships for one-handed. I was on top of the world, and I had nowhere to go but up. Unfortunately, my official results kind of stagnated from there. My progress started to stagnate, which decreased my motivation to practice, and my official results took a big hit. Other than some pretty nice averages at nationals last year, all of my OH results for the second half of 2019 were pretty abysmal. So what was the problem here? Shockingly enough, the problem was I didn't do a good enough job of listening to Jay's advice. I did a pretty good job for the first little while, but after a few months, I just started doing more solves again, and we all know how unhelpful that can be. Also, out of his three main pieces of advice that he gave me, I listened to the first two pretty well, but I hardly put any effort into learning how to do cross plus one one-handed. So I made as much progress as I could in that amount of time for the first two things, and then once I reached my peak in that, I stagnated, lost motivation, you get the idea. By February of this year, I had had enough. I was done getting embarrassing results, and I was going to do whatever it would take to fix it. So I started from scratch. I started practicing everything again. I worked on my turning, I finished learning more 2GLLs that I had been putting off, and I finally started working on cross plus one, one-handed. And it paid off incredibly. Drop it. Mm, yeah. 
an 1191 official 3x3 one-handed average. 58th in the world, 14th in North America, and 11th in the US. I'm back in the game. The point of all of this is that no matter how much health you have, you can always choose not to get better. But that is your choice. If you're dedicated and you put in the work and you listen to the advice that people give you, you will make progress. If you're willing to put in the time and hard work, you can achieve amazing things with Speedcubing Solution. And as proof, let's get some testimony from people that have taken the course themselves. So I first joined Jay's Speedcubing Solution course back in January 2020. Prior to joining, I've been seriously struggling with my improvement in 3x3 solving, plateauing at around the 18 second mark. At first, it seemed like there would be plenty of resources on YouTube or on the speed solving forums for me to use to improve with. However, the problem is that there is just so much information out there and of course, no real lesson plan. I wanted to go straight to the point and speed cubing solution does exactly that. The course is laid out in such a way that you would improve the different parts of CFOP in a linear manner, starting with finger tricks and cross, then ending with PLL, of course. There are over 13 hours worth of content available, and each minute of it has its purpose. Every bit of information in this course is useful, it cuts straight to the point. When I joined, my PB average of 100 was around a mid-17 maybe. I would occasionally get some 14-15 second solves, however I was very inconsistent. After almost 3 months of practice, I was able to get my global average down to about 14 seconds and my solves were much more consistent. In short, Jay McNeil's course has drastically improved my consistency and efficiency. And the F2L content is so rich that I have not had a chance to go through all of it yet. There is a lot of hard work required, however for those willing to put in the effort, you will see improvement regardless of your skill level. Hello everyone, my name is Khaled Adoud, I'm from Saudi Arabia, and today I'm going to talk about the best 2x3 Rescue course you'll ever find on the market, which is the Speed Cubing Solution course. Before I bought the course, I was averaging 22 seconds. I bought the course because I knew that JD McKinney is one of the top 3x3 solvers. So I went to YouTube, searched his channel, and saw some of his videos. And I knew that if there was a course made by Jaden McNeil talking about the 3x3 Rubik's Cube fundamentals, then I know that this is the way to crack the 3x3 Rubik's Cube course. This course has helped me in many different ways, including the basic fundamentals of the CFOP method, which is cross, F2L, OLL, and PLL. And many, many more, including the email coaching and the live streams, which are really helpful. And also don't forget the Slack group, which you can share ideas with each other. And before ending this video, I'm going to tell you a surprise. Did you know that I now average 18 seconds and I've only learned finger tricks, some of the cross techniques, and follow all on PLL, and I did not even start the f 2 module that the Speed Cubing Solution course has offered. What a surprise. Thank you for watching, wish you all the luck. So if you're serious about getting faster, I highly recommend checking out Speed Cubing Solution. All of the high quality help you'll get through the course is more than worth the price. Remember, you have until May 3rd at midnight Eastern time to go to the link in the description and sign up. No matter what you choose to do, I wish you good luck in all of your cubing endeavors. Thank you for watching.